Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Black Clover episodes 109 to 111. I'm sorry, I actually just checked the episodes, the video, and apparently I didn't edit out where, uh, the stupid internet acted up on me. I didn't realize it until just now, and I'm like, I don't feel like editing it all out and going through all that again. So, I apologize for that. So, um... And also, if the volume is a little low, you might need to just turn it up a little bit because I didn't... My speaker uh, volume was a little bit low while I was listening to it, maybe. I don't know. If it actually is that low, I apologize. But... I should be getting my new mic tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. I do have to work tomorrow, sadly. I have to be working at two. Oh God, I am gonna be so tired this week. Cause I gotta go to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. All those days are night shift. And if you're wondering where'd my hair all go, I got a ponytail at the moment. I had, a, I had it in for work. And I decided I'm not going to take it out. Anyway. Oh god, I'm so dang tired. Anyway. Uh, episodes 109 and 111. We get to see... Uh, Yami, Fenrir, and Jack take on Longris. Thankfully, because of Fenrir's portal magic, or spatial magic... Uh, they're only able to stop him, but to, uh, somehow knock him out and get him somewhat back to normal, but Fenrir ends up out cold in the pot in the process, because he wore himself out. Because I'm sure that he's not, you know, completely 100% healed yet. Or at the very least, even if he is, his injuries are healed, that doesn't mean he's back to normal, you know, 100% when it comes to magic. So, yeah, now the uh, enemy's base is now in town, and they decide they're going to activate some kind of stone in the Shadow Palace, which means that if they complete it, that means all the people who were possessed by the, the souls of the elves, their souls, the human souls, wind up getting sent to the underworld, apparently. So they have another reason to stop all this. Hover. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Can't wait to get to that point, guys, because, yeah, it was not what I was expecting at all. And you're going to be freaking out when I was watching it. Anyway, apparently the stone that they need is the same stone that Yuno wears around his neck. I was like, what's wrong with that stone was for? Because we have been shown that neck, that pendant, whatever you want to call it, for the longest time. And we have had no explanation as to what it could possibly be. So, yeah. Now we finally get an answer. I was like, oh, how are they going to get it? Thankfully, Austin and the others show up to help fight off the enemies while Jack and Yami go into the Shadow Palace to try and stop the enemy. <laughs> However, while they're fighting, they had to fight Ghost and Marie... Apparently, whoever's possessing Marie can uh, can use her magic, or at least some form of magic, because apparently she's got magic in her eyes. Which I'm assuming that's going to be her magic when she, you know, gets her grimoire eventually. Which would be cool. <sighs> anyway, while they're dealing with all that, uh... Charmy had shown us in an earlier episode that her head chef spell not only feeds your belly, but it fills up your magic as well, so you can replenish your magic while you eat. Which is good. However, they end up getting uh, into a bit of trouble when the captain of the portal, 
coral peacocks, the one who's always asleep, finally shows us her magic. And she's also one of the possessed elves, so that's even worse. Apparently her magic is dream magic. And now, uh, let's see who ends up getting pulled into this. Uh, Luck, Vanessa, Magna, Sally, and Charmy. I think those five end up getting pulled into her dream world. So now it's only uh, Asta, Gray, Gordon, and Henry that are able to do anything against... Uh, Ghost and Marie because Noelle and uh, Zora are still recovering from their own little fights. So now uh, the others have to deal with the whole dream world thing and yeah they're having a hard time of it. Because everything's all crazy in there and their magic essentially is running out and Charmy's kind of falling asleep because apparently if you fall asleep in there you never wake up. So she's starting to nod off, and I'm guessing she can't use her head chef spell in there, otherwise they would have no problem trying to keep up with Dorothy, because as long as she could use her magic to make that spell, and she replenishes her magic with the food, they would have unlimited magic, in theory. Except, uh, unless that food digests just as fast, they're gonna have a limited capacity on eating. <laughs> Anyway, while all this is going on in the dream world, in the real world, Austin and the others are having a hard time. And he try, obviously he's trying to stop them, but he's having a hard time because they're all unlimited magic. Because they don't have Charmy there to help them. And with Henry's ability to siphon, or not ability, his condition that siphons off magic, they're on even more of a disadvantage. And it gets to the point where I think that Henry is about to try and sacrifice himself to try and stop ghosting them. But obviously the episode ends before that can happen. Anyway, I will get to editing episodes 12, 112, 113, and 114 for you guys for the next time. However, I'm going to have to get more... Uh, Black Clover recorded because they only have up to episode 115 at the moment. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.